Other Voices 2013 has kicked off and if there's one thing you notice when you get here to Dingle it's literally that the atmosphere hits you like a bout of fresh air. It's impossible to avoid and to be honest why would you want to? I mean the anticipation, the excitement, all of it is visible on the streets and on the faces of the people who walk them. Shops are lined with performances of years gone by but the focus is on this weekend. There's music to be heard and crack to be had. A good friend of mine told me that she got her first ever bike here in a place called Foxy John's. And since every pub seems to double up as some sort of shop, it's also where she got her first pint, which I thought was incredible. So, since this is my first time at Other Voices, and my first time in Dingle, I thought I needed to take a look around. So I'm gonna head right there now, and uh, hop on a bike. It's pretty easy to find your way around once you've been here for a short amount of time. There seems to be only three or four roads and they all seem to lead to the coastline. Can you tell I haven't been on a bike since I was 11? After a cycle around the town, there's nothing more rewarding than pulling a pint of the black stuff. A quick chat with the barman let me know that Hosier was passing outside having just finished his sound check, so I had to go and chase him down. So the beauty about Dingle is that you're literally walking down the street and you can bump into absolutely anybody. This is Andrew, you guys probably know him better as number one of the charts for ages, Hosier. <laughs> you have had an absolutely crazy few months. Yeah. I mean, have, have you processed everything yet? Did you expect when you released, released uh, Take Me To Church that it was going to do so well? No, uh, I have to say I wasn't, because I, I wouldn't have thought myself being a chart musician at all, so mm. that was very... Big surprise. Other voices, what are you most looking forward to about it? Um, tragically, we have to leave straight after the performance. So, so you're most looking forward to your performance? <laughs> yeah, sad, sadly, yeah. I, no, I, I, was, I had a great chat with Philip King yeah. this morning, which was really nice. And we headed out to a place by the sea, which was gorgeous. So it was just, I guess, just kind of soaking it in. If I, if I could, I would love to stick around and meet more artists and meet people. And, have a drink. Something. It is the atmosphere, isn't it? That's what it is. Yeah, just, just, yeah, there's something very deeply calming about the place. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people think that getting into the church is the be all and end all of the entire weekend, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Which is lucky, because sometimes getting into the church is as easy as, I don't know, getting your nan on winning streak. From just sitting in a pub and striking up conversation with someone to following the music trail, there's literally no excuse not to be busy when you're here. Or sometimes no excuse not to have a pint in your hand. Speaking of which, there's a banter session going on right now with David Gray and Foxy Johns, and kind of fancy you want to see that. Uh, I, I like the way that it came into being as a record, it wasn't before... Banter is helmed by Jim Carroll of the Irish Times and today he managed to get some very personal things out of David Gray and over the weekend he'll be chatting with more of the weekend's performers and surprise guests like Jack Rayner. You know, it, it, it doesn't, it just happens, life happens, falling in love happens, shit happens, you know, and that's the same with making records. Then it's onward to St James's Church for the night's festivities to kick off. And here we are at the main venue, St. James's Church, where over the next few days the likes of Paddy Griffin, John Grant, Hosier and David Gray will take to the stage. When you get here, you really do realise why so many acts love and appreciate coming here to perform. Not only does Dingle supply them with the perfect getaway away from the stresses of the modern day music industry, but also the church is possibly the most intimate gig they'll ever play in their lives. Philip King sets the tone for the evening and everyone in the church feels very fortunate to be there and have a front row seat. But it's not all about that. The atmosphere is just as strong in pubs all across Dingle and now this year, Derry, where the show is being streamed live as well. The year has certainly kicked off with a bang. Make sure you stay tuned to this YouTube channel as I'll be giving you even more of an insight into the happenings over the weekend. Now though, the streets are clear and it's time to get some rest to prepare for the next few days.